morning, Eric Chappell, Public Communications, week two assignment. Today I'll be telling you about a memorable story that is special to me and a group of friends of mine that are, uh, we're all avid backpackers and climbers. So I decided that I would tell you guys about the foundation and creation of a group that we call CAC or Cigarettes and Apple Cider, which is what the acronym stands for. Um, before I get into how that was created, I'll explain to you that every year my friends and I, we try to get together and summit a mountain in the lower 48. Um, in this particular year, it was the spring of 2007 in April, we chose to summit San Gregorio in Southern California near Big Bear. We uh, re did our research, checked the weather, conditions looked good. So we made a lot of assumptions, which we found out later were probably ill-advised, but we pushed on and we left San Diego, got up to Big Bear and set up a base camp at 6,000 feet where we acclimated for 24 hours before heading up to a place called Dry Lake, which is located 9,000 feet just below the summit. The next morning we got up, uh, our packs were roughly 80 pounds, carrying uh, some cold weather gear. And we spent the day about eight hours getting up to 9,000 feet. As we got up to 9,000 feet, we reached a whole bunch of snowpack that we didn't expect to find, um, which we were not prepared to see that kind of snowpack. In fact, we didn't expect to see anything but maybe six inches to a foot of snow on the ground. Uh, but we trudged down. We set up our, ba our secondary base at Dry Lake at 9,000 feet uh, with the intent to go on and summit the mountain the next morning. Um, but as we ran into a couple other people, we realized that that may not actually be possible because we didn't bring crampons with us to attempt to do the summit. And there was a lot more snowpack and ice up at that uh, level than we expected. But we figured we'd base there on that beautiful sunny afternoon and see what we could do the next morning. Well, that evening, a, uh, a blizzard had set in. The low came down and uh, dropped temperatures just below zero. So we uh, circled our tents, built a little fire, digging a pit about 12 inches deep, and we're doing the best we could to stay warm. And in the process, one of my friends was a smoker. Um, my other friend, Henry, and I, we, we had quit a while back. We were sitting there trying to stay warm. And my friend John, the smoker, came back and said, uh, and asked us when we're going back down because he only had three cigarettes left. And I looked at him and I was like, I don't know, but I'll take one of those cigarettes because I got three packs of apple cider. So I'll pass you a pack, give you a pack of apple cider for a cigarette. So the group that we now call Cigarettes and Apple Cider was created. We roughed it through that storm got up the next morning with about three feet of snow on the ground and decided that we trudged back down and it took us all of 12 hours to get back down but though it may not seem very funny or comical it was a very significant uh moment for me and my friends uh in my life and thank you very much